I found out there is no business trip. I 30M wanted to leave a gift at her 27F desk at work for her birthday while she was on her business trip. When I got there, I found out that there was no business trip. She had been calling out sick, as did the co-worker she told me I had nothing to worry about. She had been sending me photos of her hotel room and all the sightseeing she was doing. I'm an acquaintance of his wife, so after I contacted her on FB I got her number and talked on the phone. Same story, he was on a business trip, and they had been exchanging photos of similar sites. That's when I explained to her what I found out. She was silent for a while, then told me he had cheated on her many times apparently and she's actually been working on serving him with divorce papers while under the guise of reconciliation. She apologized profusely but of course none of this is her fault. She called their workplace to find out on her own. They told her the same thing, he called out sick. So, here we are, my GF is still texting me like normal, pretending she's sitting at a boring meeting. I'm extremely distraught and my anxiety is at an all-time high but, surprisingly I'm not crying this time. This isn't the first time I was cheated on. I realized how much of a fool I had been. I saw the red flags, but I once again ignored them, thinking I just had trust issues that I needed to work on. I packed all her stuff and will wait for her to come back tonight. TLDR, found out there is no business trip. My STBXGF called out sick and is cheating on me with her co-worker. Update, app's wife confirmed that the papers will be served Monday and that she's not worried about any blowback from me confronting my ex. So I went ahead and confronted her. I am totally messed up in the head ATM so I don't know when the next update will come, but I will make sure to do so. I appreciate all the suggestions, comments and words of support. She's blowing up my phone so I blocked her number. Her sister tried to reach me, so I informed her of the situation. She's shocked, embarrassed, and upset. She will drive my ex from the airport and help pick up her stuff. I have her spare key so there's no need to worry about my safety. Someone suggested taking a vacation from it all. I might actually do that, but first I need some time to get myself right again. I had an anxiety attack. Very nearly called my ex too, out of habit. That realization made me even more sad, this sucks. Update 2. So apparently AP's wife lets just call her Jenny inquiry along with mine set off a flag at their company HR and they decided to investigate makes sense, you would think a married woman would know her husband was sick at home. So the cat's out of the bag. She told them everything. I'm my ex's emergency contact so they tracked my number and contacted me about half an hour ago, asking how she was doing, she called out sick and hasn't responded in a few days. I told them everything as well. She wasn't sick. She had told me she was on a business trip but lied. She went on a trip with that Ashol and is cheating on me with him. Everything just spilled out, I guess I still have so much bottled up I need to let out. So that's still developing ATM. Meanwhile, since I'm up I might as well update you all. So shortly after I texted my ex yesterday, and she started blowing up my phone, Jenny texted me that AP has been texting her being much more communicative than normal, and eventually asked if anything was up and what she was doing. She played along. This pretty much confirms that him and my ex were together. My ex and her sis came and picked up her stuff after they landed last night. They didn't knock, I didn't open the door. After they were done they sat in their car for a while. I could see her sister's hand gestures moving frantically as they talked. Maybe she was lecturing her or what, I don't know. She was clearly upset. X was buried in her own hands. After a while she got out and knocked on my door. A lot of Redditors suggested completely ghosting her, but I decided I wanted to talk to her. I wanted to know what she had to say for herself, and I wanted to see her cry. Boy, what a s it show. It was painful. Lying, gaslighting, deflecting. It meant nothing. She begged to work it out and promised to block him on everything. She'd keep her phone unlocked, etc. At one point she even tried to guilt trip me. I asked her to show me her phone. She refused. She. Refused. I was done. I told her to get out of my face and never contact me again. She burst further into tears and pleaded until she eventually agreed to give me her phone. I found everything on FB Messenger. 
sexts, nudes, videos, conversations about me, how clueless I was, how she felt guilty but was too a trini to care ATM. I took screenshots and sent them to myself which I later forwarded to Jenny. Gave her back her phone and told her it was over. Not gonna lie, it still hurt watching her cry in such despair. But I had to remind myself that she's not sorry she cheated, she's only sorry she got caught. She knew I had been cheated on before and how traumatic that was for me. It didn't matter. She was willing to risk throwing away five beautiful years together. And for what? I closed the door and talked with my mom and dad on the phone for a while, and then pretty much cried myself to sleep. I told Jenny that I was here for her if she needed any help or support, and if she needed a place to stay she is more than welcome to stay with me and my brother. I'm already dreading today. I don't know what to do with myself ATM. I can't even get back to sleep. Update 3. An update on my situation I posted last week in which I found out that my GF lied about being on a business trip, and was actually traveling and cheating on me with her co-worker. Jenny AP's wife informed me that AP and my ex both got fired from their job. Not only that, but on the same day, he was served the divorce papers. They had a huge argument and he started slamming and hitting stuff. He never touched her, but she still doesn't feel safe to be around him. Her parents live in Korea so she will be moving in with me until she can find her own place. My brother is deployed right now so his room is vacant. As for my ex, I hear from her sister that she moved back in with her parents and has been crying non-stop. She hasn't left the house since and isn't talking to anyone. Her dad called me a few days ago to apologize. All the years I've known him, he was always quiet, cold, and distant, but over the phone he was very warm, and offered me some much needed words of comfort and advice. As for me, I am not good, at all, but I know these things take time to work through. I've been here before but it hurts just the same. Five years down the drain. She was my rock, the one person in this world I could turn to and open to, and now I can't do just that. Was it worth it? Is that all those five years meant to you? She was such an upstanding person, independent, hardworking and honest. She always had her asset together, and you could tell she was going to be going places in life. Her energy just made you want to stay on top of your asset. But now it's like I don't know who she is anymore. Everyone knows what she did. I had a moment of poor judgment and opened up to someone who had a big mouth. Her close friends are upset and are accusing me of doing that on purpose to get back at her. I really don't care to argue with people who knew about her affair the entire time. One of them even encouraged it. I never liked them. I always thought my ex was so far above them. She always seemed out of place. But now I see exactly where she got it from. It's saddening and disappointing to see her fall so far down. I will start boxing next week with my friend, and he will also coach me on nutrition and overall how to eat healthier. I've been itching to try grilling so right now I'm thinking about pulling out my brother's Weber and learn. I'm trying to keep myself busy. I work from home so everything still reminds me of her. Someone suggested rearranging the house. I think that's a great idea. That's all the updates I have for you guys. I don't think there will be more but if anything major pops up I will make an update. Thank you so much for all the support, words of kindness and advice. Edit O. Oh, I've been given an opportunity to travel to New Orleans next month super cheap. Jenny and I are thinking about going to get away from all this asset. We've never been, and we are both foodies so this might be just what we need. TLDR, X and AP both got fired. AP got served divorce papers. X moved back in with parents and has been depressed since. Has not left the house. Jenny will be moving in with me and my brother temporarily until she finds her own place. We might travel to New Orleans together to get away from all this asset. Update, I 30F got drunk on a business trip and woke up with a guy? Am in my room. Do I tell my husband 32M? Background, my husband and I have been together for years and have an excellent relationship. I am 1000% happy with him and would never cheat on him in a million years. I adore him. We are always extremely honest and communicative with each other, but up until this point, I have never had a reason to hesitate with that. So, here's my issue. 
Last week I went on a solo trip for work and met up with a friend who lives there and we went out for drinks. The night got much wilder than planned, evidently, I honestly do not remember what happened at all. I don't know where my friend went or when. I remember the first couple of drinks and then the last thing I remember is that I was drinking a martini, which I have never ordered in my life, and being chatted up by some guy. The next thing I know, I am waking up in the morning and there is a guy I don't know in my room. Now here's where I get confused though he was in the other bed, fully clothed, and I was fully clothed as well. I didn't feel like anything had happened between us, eskshul or otherwise. But I have no way of knowing and I have zero memory of getting there, going to sleep, or anything at all. I don't even know this guy's name because as soon as I woke up I got scared and freaked out and told him to leave immediately. He tried to talk to me but I just kept telling him to leave, so he did. He was not weird or pushy or anything else in the morning. Now I wish I had asked him what happened, but I was too freaked out. Is it possible nothing happened? Maybe he's a nice guy who just helped me get back to the room? Or maybe that martini I don't remember ordering and never would have was drugged? I honestly have no idea. Here's the real question though, should I tell my husband? What should I do? I feel upset and strange and confused, but I don't know that this is a problem that can or needs to be solved.